ankle monitors. In theory, they allow authorities to track an offender's location, ensuring they stay within designated areas and adhere to curfews. According to DJS, 132 youth are currently wearing one, and 12 staff members are monitoring them. But what happens when someone steps out of bounds or removes their device? Just last week alone, a 16-year-old charged with attempted murder in connection to the shooting of a Rogers Forge man accused of cutting his ankle monitor off a month prior to avoid police detection. BPD also arresting the same 14-year-olds twice in one day. Police claiming first they robbed a Royal Farms, were placed on DJS ankle monitors and released. Then, reportedly returned to the store later that evening, attempting to assault the employees who called police. And most notably last July, one of the accused gunmen behind the Brooklyn Day mass shooting, the city's largest mass shooting to date, on a DJS ankle monitor at the time. It's how police say they traced the team to the scene. I don't think it's much of a deterrent. I really don't. At some point, detention becomes necessary to simply stop the conduct. According to criminal defense attorneys Warren Alperstein and Jeremy Eldridge, with a dozen designated monitors, the department has sufficient staff. They say the problem lies with DJS's slow response to the rule breakers, claiming current technology lacks automatic alerts, causing manual reporting delays. Monitoring 10 to 15 people in and of itself does not sound unreasonable. The issue is that there has to be prompt reporting to the court when there's noncompliance. When you violate, the uh, Department of Juvenile Services uh, is supposed to be notified right away, and there's supposed to be a warrant that should get issued. But it's a process, and it's bureaucracy. They say it can often take days, if not weeks, before a report is filed with the court. Then the court has to review it and respond, all before police can even begin tracking down the individual. That lag time is one of the issues causing the delay because if it happens over the weekend, no one's paying attention. And during the delay, uh, you know, these heinous violent crimes are being committed. Eldridge arguing it seems to be an issue unique to the juvenile system. If you violate in the federal system, they inform the judge in a very timely fashion. While some kid may be out for a month or two months committing other crimes and no one's done anything about his first violation. Fox 45 sending questions to DJS today asking what the protocols are when a juvenile is noncompliant and how DJS is alerted. So far, no response. Meanwhile, a new DJS policy requiring all violent offenders be placed on ankle monitors raising further concerns. If reporting isn't done timely now, what do you think is gonna happen in the future? Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson, thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.